So now we see the second uh, next question, question number 5, secant theta equal to 13 by 12. You want to find all other trigonometric ratio. So secant theta formula in a secant theta is cos secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. Cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse. So hypotenuse by adjacent side. So which is hypotenuse 13. 13 is the hypotenuse. Adjacent side is 12. Definitely this will be 5. So root of 13 squared minus 12 squared 169, 144, 25, 5. Now we take and write it. This is 5. Sin theta opposite by hypotenuse. Every time no need to write this. So opposite is 5 by 13. Then cos theta adjacent side by hypotenuse. Adjacent side is 12 by 13. Tan theta opposite by Adjacent side, opposite is 5, this is 12. Then cosecant theta, reciprocal of sin theta. So 13 by 5. Then cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta. So 12 by 5. So that's all. Now question 6. If angle A and angle B are acute angles, acute angles means less than 90 degree, such that cos A equal to cos B. So given cos A equal to cos B. Before that, we should know which is 90 degree. When you draw a right angle triangle, you want to know which will be 90, whether A or B or C. Here A and B are acute angles. Definitely one angle should be in a right angle triangle, one angle should be 90 degree. If A and B are acute angles means A and B are acute angle implies definitely angle C equal to 90 degree. So here you can mark it as uh, angle C as 90 degree. Okay. So given cos A, now we find cos A. Cos A means this angle. So this will be opposite sides, isn't it? So BC. So BC by hypotenuse. Every time no need to write uh, for cos A. So A means uh, here this will be adjacent. Cos A means adjacent side by hypotenuse, isn't it? So this is adjacent side by hypotenuse. Here also adjacent side by hypotenuse. For A, which will be the adjacent side? This is, this is adjacent side. Isn't it? When you take, take angle A, when you consider angle A, AC will be the adjacent side. So, AC by hypotenuse. This is definitely hypotenuse. Because opposite to 90 degree means that denotes the hypotenuse. So, A, <coughs> AC by A, B. Next, cos B for angle B. Consider angle B now. This is adjacent side. BC is the adjacent side. So here you write BC by hypotenuse normal. Now AB, AB cancel. So AC equal to BC. So when two sides are equal, and then opposite angles are also equal by property. So which implies angle A equal to angle B. For AC, opposite angle is angle B. For BC, opposite angle is angle A. So which implies hence the result. Thank you.